Hello everyone, I'm Bazil Ahmed from the team Gangs of ISC and today I'll be presenting our solution for Swipes to Labs Hackathon for the allocation term. Starting with the problem abstraction and modeling, we have modeled the solution following a very practical approach which is greedy in nature but is very intelligent in a sense that we are trying to find meaningful clusters of labs outside the district such that the cost of allocating samples to that cluster is cheaper. So we have divided the whole process into four sequential phases and in each phase we are trying to find the cheapest option available. So starting with our algorithm, uh, we have phase one. In phase one, what we do is that for each district collection center, the cheapest option available is to allocate its samples to the government labs that lie within that district. Because if the private labs within that district are expensive, per sample cost is higher, and even the samples that lie outside the district, there will be some transportation cost associated with it. And the cheapest option available outside the district would be government labs. So even in that case, you won't be getting any edge for transferring your uh, samples to other district. So in phase one, we say for all the districts, uh, just allocate as much as possible. Uh, just allocate your samples to the government labs as much as possible. Then we move on to phase two. This is uh, this. So in this phase two, uh, we consider those districts whose capacity of private labs is uh, higher than the samples that are remaining after the phase one. So uh, the idea in this uh, behind this phase is that uh, either you can allocate your samples to the private labs that lie within that district, or you can find a cheaper option which is finding a cluster of government labs that lie outside the district but we have to keep in mind the transportation call hence so we can we can't just find any cl government cluster of government labs outside the district and just you know uh, allocate the samples so we will be comparing the cost of all the clusters uh, of government lab that lie outside the district with the baseline which is transferring allocating all the samples to the private lab that lie within that district and with that comparison we will make the uh, decision on the basis of the uh, lower cost that is available. In the third phase so we have those district uh, which have the samples which can be accommodated in the private labs. So, because in the second phase, we have considered all the districts which have uh, which have samples which are less than the, um, the capacity of the uh, private labs that lie within that district. Uh, so, either they have been allocated the private labs itself or they have been allocated to some clusters. So, uh, those districts won't come to the phase three. So, in phase three, we have only those district, uh, districts which have samples that can't be accommodated in their own private labs. So, we say in phase three, okay, just allocate it uh, as much as possible in the, in your private labs. So this is the phase three simple. And in phase four, that marks the end of the algorithm. We have to compare uh, for each district center. What what are the options? Either <coughs> they can overload their own labs. Uh, we have a constraint on that that maximum hundred uh, samples per lab can be overloaded, or we can send it to the district headquarters. You know, as a as a backlog and which can be exhausted in the next day or we can find a cluster of labs outside the district as which can accommodate these samples now in this phase we are trying to finish all the samples so it's way what are the cheapest options available overloading the sample means 5000 per sample backlogging means 10000 per sample so what is the cheapest option available even even if i can find a private lab outside the district it's good enough for me because that is only 1600 per sample. So this is the idea behind phase four. We are trying to find a cluster of labs which may be government or private and we are trying to allocate our samples to that if that is cheaper based on the transportation cost associated with that. If we can find it then well and good otherwise we you know, overload our own sample uh, our own labs that lie within the district or we go for backlogging. So this way we end the four phases of our algorithm.